unpack the Warboard Easy Skim Kit. This has got everything you need to get started. We've got three convenient sizes with our 250, then we've got the 350 and the 600. They come with replacement blades for the three different sizes and you get your pole and adapter for sealing applications. This kit will help improve the quality of your finish and it's really cool with the plastic carrot case to help protect them in between use. The blades themselves have a nice grip and flexible blade to help you achieve a nice smooth finish. The flexi blade helps me. It helps keep nice and flat. You have a nice easy thread. Makes the cutting off all those joints, so it's good. So I like the internal kit where it doesn't matter what the wall is doing, the tools are just like just correcting everything. It's taking care of all the little problems by itself and where it needs to go a little bit before. Yeah, anyone can do this. Swipe. Um. Hold the lock out on this side. Push it in from the same side you're holding the lockout on. It just slides across through to the other side, position it in the middle, and then tighten your locks at the back to secure it into position. The extension pole comes in handy. It extends from 900 millimeters out to two meters. We simply clockwise to unlock and extend it out, and then any clockwise to secure it into position. To replace the blades, we simply unscrew the two screws at the front, pull our blade out, push the new one back in, tighten your screws, and away you go. Even got some spare screws included in your kit, just in case you lose one or two. It's important to clean the blade and adapter fully after each use to avoid any compound buildup. Also, when possible, to avoid blade edges from receiving heavy impacts, keep them in the carry case when not in use. I like the finish that they leave. It doesn't really matter what angle you apply this. It can be not that extreme. It can be stood up or laid flat and it still gives you quite a good finish. Um, I like how we have that any rippling at all, which is sometimes an issue when we're um, setting traditionally with a blade, you can get the jitters a little bit, or if you're walking on your stilts and you've got to step around clumsy things, that action through your body will leave marks through the ceiling. So with, with the pole, you can move yourself around obstacles and not get issues with the ceiling. Let us know what you think. 